but our last thing that we're going to be using as additives is your what is known as a humectant and there's a couple different that people use we have vegetable glycerin which is probably the more popular because it's a little bit easier to control and then we also have honey uh, filtered honey with no other additives in it is your best bet and it humectants what they are i know i threw out that fancy word there but i didn't explain what it is it is ex essentially what keeps your paint from drying out it's going to help you reactivate it it's going to keep it a little bit moist and i can show you right here if we go to the overhead i made a lot of different pans of paint for you guys to kind of see now these two i made yesterday you can see they're a lot wetter because these are the ones that have humectants in them now, I think for both of these, I added probably too much humectant, which means if you add too much humectant, they're more likely to be shiny and sticky, and there's a chance they might not pan properly. They're not, might not dry properly. Um, but all of these ones here, I actually didn't add humectants here, and I can show you the difference. They all kind of are just really solid, hard, matte cakes of paint. And you can use these to paint, and I did. I have a couple different swatches here that I created and this is our new york central watercolor paper um a couple different swatches here you can see like the paints turned out decently well oh let me get them so you can actually see them here <laughs> um and i had to try a lot of different ratios of all of our different um additives to be able to figure out what a good ratio might be and i still haven't figured it out like i created all of these pans of paint are the same pigment and I even did more than this that I didn't end up panning because I could already tell that they weren't going to be even very good to show you guys. And it takes it takes a really long process of figuring out because every single pigment that you use is going to act differently. Um, this chrome green light is going to work differently than your primary blue and you're going to have to add different amounts of things to figure it out. I have poured a little bit of gouache into each of these because the best thing that your humectant does is that it can help your paints keep from cracking and keep them just a little bit more damp. But I'll show you here, this right here was my control. So this is, I'm gonna hold this up so you guys can see it a little bit better. This was just straight gouache right here. This one right here was where I added a lot of glycerin. You can see how shiny that is. In fact, it's still wet. I don't wanna to touch it, but this paint is still wet here. That's what happens when you add way too much humectant into your paint is that it will not cure. And it's super, super glossy. And if I paint it down on a piece of paper, it will dry on the piece of paper, but it's more likely to stay sticky if I do. This one right here, you can see it also cracked because I added the tiniest little bit of glycerin. And really I should have added more because if I get closer to, this is our honey right here. And this, I added what I considered a lot of honey in. I didn't really measure this out. I was just tried to get the same amount of glycerin as I did honey for each of these. So I added like a good amount of honey in and you can see it's a little more matte than the a lot of glycerin. It's also still wet like the glycerin, but you can see a little bit, I'm trying to get you guys a good view of this, that it didn't really crack as much as any of these did. I mean, this didn't really crack either, but it's also super wet still. And then our last one here was just the tiniest bit of honey. So these two, what I could have done is added a little bit more of honey and a little bit more of glycerin and they would have panned a lot better. Um, so you, if you have watercolors or gouache or something um, that you want to experiment a little bit with, you can try putting in a little bit of honey or a little bit of vegetable glycerin. You can incorporate those in and you can see if it will kind of change the quality of your paints so they're more like what you want them to be.